was unlikely to be master of all the rider that love had hunting. <laughs> Had he in stable, and when he rode, men might his bridle hear, jingling in the whistling wind as clear, and he cast loud as not the chapel. When he is reckless, is likened to a fish that is waterless, that is to say, a monk out of his cloister. But that same text he held not worth an oyster. And why said his opinion was good? Why should he study and make himself mad upon a book in cloister? Boring, or toil with his hands and labor has lost in bed. How shall the world be served? Let Austin have his toil to him reserved. Therefore, he was a horseman, Paul the right greyhounds he had as swift as howl in flight of spurring and hunting of spurring and hunting for the head was all his lust for all cost would he Ruffled at the hand with her, and that the finest in the land, and for two vars and his hood under his chin, he had a bone brought a curious pin, for love not in the greater end there was, his head was bald and shorn as any glass, and he his face as it had been anoint, he was a lord full fat and in great point, his eyes were bright and broad. Rolling in his head that gleamed like a fire beneath a pot. His palfrey was as brown as is a berry. He was not pale as a tormented ghost. A fat swan loved he best of any roast. His boots were supple, his horse in greater state. No, certainly, certainly, he was a fair. 